Hi, welcome back to Cold Scare RC. So I'm going to do something I never normally do, and that's going to unbox this as I see it. So this arrived five minutes ago. I took the seal off it. That's all I've done. I'm going to open it with you. I'm going to see how long it takes to set up. I've downloaded the app already, and I'm going to go through my initial overview and my initial thoughts of this. I can't fly today because of the weather, so I thought I'd do you this introduction video and let you know what I think of the drone. I've waited a long time for this to come, as you probably know. It's the fourth time I've ordered it. I ended up getting it for 320 quid because I used a coupon code that I found, I think it was on CL Tech's channel and it gave me a massive discount. So that's why I bought it in the end. It has took six weeks to arrive on EU priority shipping, which isn't the best. So let's have a look. Box has come typically a bit bashed up, but I'm getting a case for it anyway. So this is what you get in the box. So got a little thing in here that shows you the download codes and the bits you should get in the box. So we've got the drone, the controller, some little, a little manual, a little quick start guide I believe that is, the connection which we're going to need, some propellers, and a charger. And mine actually came, you do get the adapter if you buy it from China, you'll get the adapter to work in the UK. So, let's have a quick look. So this is the drone itself. So, it's actually heavier than I thought it was going to be, it's quite a bit heavier than the Xeno. So this video, and the video of the flight test, are going to be nothing to do with comparing this to the Hubson Xeno or anything else. I'm going to do a, because I've got far more time because I'm not doing the toy grade stuff much anymore, I've got time to do a proper series on this. So I will be doing a comparison video with the Xeno obviously, and I'll probably do also do some comparison videos with other stuff. One of them definitely will be, the, I've got the Mi 4K drone, so I want to do a comparison with that. If there's anything you're interested in seeing me compare it to and fly against because I own most of the other camera stuff, let me know in the comments down below and I will do a video on it. So, ooh, the arms feel really nice to fold out. Very smooth. Nice click as they go into place. Oh, I'd like to have seen metal inside here because some drones have metal inserts in here but still nice, very well finished off. Underneath you've got a optical flow sensor and a sonic sensor and then in the front here you've got what looked like it would have sensors in here but this is nothing it's just a blank. This is your gimbal guide I've seen people complain about this but I'm not really bothered about that. It does its job it's just a bit of foam but it's still doing its job and here's the gimbal itself. Let's just have a good look at that gimbal so ooh, I like the way this thing's mounted if you look there even if these split rubber split here you couldn't fall because of them plastic pips now it might not sound important but that actually is and i also like these side ones here to just stop it rocking so yeah first impressions of the camera it looks really nice similar thing to all the other types of drones like this it's got front legs and then the back legs are the drone itself so this is the controller probably all seen this but it's got quite a bit of weight as well obviously rechargeable it has that is actually really smooth. I didn't know what this was going to feel like. Uh, so, I don't know if any of you have played with um, game controllers for the Android system, but you can get a lot of these type of things. Now, what I like about them, they normally have a little lock on the back. So you extend them and you lock it in place. This doesn't. Whether that's going to cause an issue, I don't know. And here are your sticks. Let's just screw the sticks on. The sticks have turned it on. There you go. Let's just turn it back off again. I think it's double pressing it. Yeah, so the sticks are on. Yeah, they feel they feel nice, I can tell straight away. I'm used to playing and on Android stuff with a holder, with my phone in a holder or a tablet even, so the size was never gonna bother me. So that was never gonna be an issue. Okay, so you've got a pull off here, which I'm probably not going to be able to get undone. Let's have to do this first. Let's just get the one out for the iPhone. So I see a lightning cable. We're going to need that to plug into the phone. But we're also going to use it to get in here because these things here. So here you've got, I believe that's your charging point, your firmware dock. And here you have a USB port to plug into your phone. So let's plug the phone into it see what it fits like in the holder. I'm not going to actually plug the phone yet into um, into the drone. It's, 
into the unit itself because I'm going to power it up. Oh, foam fits really nice with the case here. It's not a big case. It's just a bumper case to stop it getting damaged. But yeah, that fits really nice. And as you can see, your cable goes in here and that's going to plug in there. So, I don't see why we can't start the drone up. So let's start the drone up. Put it for double press. Yep. Obviously got a battery indicator on here. I believe this is the 4.5, 450 milliamp hour 3S LiPo. See the gimbal's setting up there. And let's turn the controller on again, double press. Okay. Let's wait for it to connect. Not connected yet. The power light will go out when it connects. This is a very similar setup, not the controller in, in any way, but the way it connects is very similar that the Mi 4K drone is. That's connected. You always get these flashing, it's to let you know that it's working. So, I remember when I first got the Mi 4K, I thought there was a fault on it, but that's how they are. So, let's open up the app. So the app for this runs on is the Femi Navi app. I have already logged in, I believe. We're going to enter the device, but before that, let's just plug this cable into the bottom here. And then enter device. Now, I'm not sure if you're going to do anything else. We're going to find out now. Or do I need to read the instructions? Do we need to do anything different? Just come out of here. Yeah, I'm logged in. Yeah, same disconnected. Ah, that's probably why. So I've got it working, sort of. So, the first time I've ever done one of these videos where I don't test something first and it comes in, well, I don't really buy it, does it? It shows what the, what the issues can be. So this has got a faulty cable. So if I put the cable in the way it should go, which is that way, as you can see, I've got nothing on my screen. I plug it in the other way, which it can't work out this way because it won't fit in the holder. It connects straight away. So, not the best obviously not the most suspicious start so what i'll probably have to do is buy another one of these from somewhere i'm probably going to find just a uh, right angled us um, lightning cable but i'll probably for the test that i'm going to do the flight test i'm going to do that we're coming up i'll probably bang the a tablet in here a small tablet and fly it that way so not the best start to be honest uh, but these things happen. I'll just show you, see if it works again. I did make it work once when I was off camera. But as you can see, it just doesn't work. It's nothing to do with the phone. The phone's perfect. Works every time. So, let's have a quick look at the app anyway. So you've got a, wee, you've got a, a joystick on here, as you have. So you can do various things. So if I go right, I can go into my drone status, so I can calibrate my compass. All these things need setting up if you've got a magnetic environment, it's because I, A, it hasn't been done, and B, I'm not in the best of places. I can make my gimbal go up and down and enter my map. From here, I hope you can see the camera from there. So it's a typical fare, you've got your gimbal control on here. You can see that. And then on this one you've got, you can adjust various things on here. I'll go through more on the app when we do the flight test. Before the flight test, I'll go through the app fully with you. I'm not messing around with it now. I've spent too long just trying to get it to work. Here you've got your camera settings. So you can go camera or video. It's not got an SD card inside this at the minute. And then you've obviously got the adjustments on here. So you can adjust your video settings, NTSC video mode, 4K 30 frames a second. You can adjust that and have that 60 frames a second, 2.7K and so forth and so forth. So the this is the typical fare. One, the couple of things that I spotted I really liked on this, one of them being the settings for the drone itself. This is much more like the settings you'd expect to get on a DJI drone. 
uh, and I really do like that. I love the battery setting, so this is giving you cell count as it does in the DCI, it's telling me how many cycles it's had, it's never been charged, because I don't know it's brand spanking new, it's telling me how many milliamp hours it's got out of its capacity, and it's telling me the temperature of the battery, I absolutely love the battery setting on this. So that is super, I've seen this on another, on their website actually, and then you've got your typical things, calibrate your map and stuff like that, again I'll go through the app more on the video when we have a flight before the flight test so first impressions are let me just unplug that so the first impressions are apart from the fact it's got a dodgy cable on here nice these things can happen this can happen you can get a dodgy cable like this that's not going to worry me in the slightest it's not going to put me off flying it or anything else i love the way the controller feels it feels really nice in your hand so this is your flight mode button and your return to home here, so that's return to home. A similar switch is a bit, is on the um, Xiaomi 4K. This controller feels really smooth. I haven't flown it yet, but I love the way the gimbal feels. There's quite a bit of spring loaded, but not too much on there. It's just a very quick thing I didn't show you on the drone, so turn it off. So it has a port on the side here. You just open this up so in here you can see you've got a micro usb port the little switch there that's where your sd card goes and i believe that little switch is from putting it off so you can just fly it with your phone i believe i'll again i'll look at that properly i've only just got it so but yeah it feels nice i'm not disappointed with it i paid 320 odd quid for it the video footage I've seen looks decent out of this thing, but you never know until you fly it. Now, I do know it's got a uh, horizon issue. I'm not going to update the firmware. I'm going to fly this scratch out of the box, and then I will let you, you'll see yourself what it's like out of the box rather than doing a firmware upgrade, then flying it. I like to fly it out of the box first to get the general thing. Didn't show you these, so it does come in more of these. It comes with a micro USB-C, and it also comes with a micro USB cable. And the propellers, I'll show you these. So these are the propellers, so these go on to here like this and lock in, so if you can see all you do is in and push down and make sure it's in. Now you shouldn't be able to put these on the wrong ones because they shouldn't go in. So there you go, so this is the wrong one, it won't go in, there's no way you can get it wrong. So obviously when you put them in, just make sure you twist them and just give them a little tug like that to make sure they don't come off in there. And obviously check your props before you set off to make sure there's no damage to them. But there your props, you get six, um, six propellers, you get two spares, one left hand and one right hand. They feel quite nice props actually, they're very similar to DJI. But yeah, so first impressions are really good. Obviously the flight video is going to tell us much more. But I just wanted to show you what you get in the box, how it seems to be and how easy it is to get it up and running. If I hadn't have had the issue with this cable, you'd have seen it was really quick under five minutes. But I had the issue with the cable. We'll do the compass calibration route right of the field. And before that, when I come back to, with a flight video, I'll show you more of the app and tell you what I think about it. The app so far looks really nice. I'd had a play with the app before the drone arrived to get familiarised with it, but yeah, it seems really good. So, thanks ever so much for watching, have a fantastic day and love the flight footage up as soon as the weather improves. Thanks for watching my channel, if you like the video please subscribe and hit the like button and also hit that notification bell, there's plenty more good stuff coming up.